This is a review for Flitz Paste Polish. I have the big user tub, but it usually comes in a tube like this. Flitz calls their paste polish the Swiss Army Knife of polishes. I've been using Flitz for about two and a half years. Just about every item on my project wall has been polished with Flitz. I started out using Flitz Paste Polish on pocket knives. Here's an old Imperial Barlow that has been cleaned up but not polished. I like to add flits to the item rather than the polishing wheel. A little goes a long way. This was way more than I needed. I set my Dremel to its lowest speed setting. The blade was pretty rough, so I did a second application. Here's the side I didn't polish. And this is the flitzed side. I was able to achieve a mirror finish in just a couple of minutes. Flitz Paste Polish also does a great job on brass. This is a 500 Magnum cartridge case. That was a fun day at the range. Again, I applied the polish to the brass and used my Dremel on its lowest speed. The polish case looks like a piece of jewelry. These are the three types of polishing wheels I use in my Dremel. I found this solid felt wheel to be too aggressive when used with flits. It tends to overheat the polish. I like the puffball wheels for covering bigger areas and for going over intricate shapes. This one is my go-to polishing wheel for flits. It's made up of many discs of fabric sandwiched together. This wheel works the polish into nooks and crannies and doesn't overheat the flits on my Dremel's lowest speed setting. I bought all of these polishing wheels on Amazon. For polishing larger items, I like to use this wheel in my hand drill. It is also constructed of many layers of fabric. I'll clamp the drill in my vise and run it at full speed, which is about 1350 RPM. I don't like to use flits with the buffing wheel in my six inch bench grinder. The higher speed tends to overheat the polish. I've also had success with flitz paste polish on plastic. I thought the handle of this Upson driver would be a good test sample. I found that flitz works best on plastic handles like this when I polish by hand. Normally I would clean the handle and then wet sand down to two or 3000 grit before polishing. But I thought it would be interesting to see what the flitz could do on its own. The handle was looking pretty good, but I went ahead and gave it a second application. That is probably double the amount of flits that I actually needed. Check out the two sections of the handle I polished. It is so clear that I could read the patent number on the shank. Can you see the tiny air bubbles that were trapped when the handle was made? 
Pretty cool. This driver happened to have an aluminum shank. I wanted to see how the Flitz paste polish would do on the aluminum. Here's the shank after two applications of Flitz. Another mirror finish. Chuck and I have had really good luck with Flitz paste polish. If you're looking for a versatile polish for steel, brass, aluminum, and plastic, Chuck and I would recommend giving Flitz a try. I've pinned our Flitz affiliate link to the comment section. If you use this link and coupon code CHUCK, Flitz will give you 20% off your purchase, and it will help our channel out a little. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ah, what's it? I don't know, Chuck. I think the sunglasses might be a little over the top.